Hello, this is Josh coming back at you again. I know it's been a while. I'm so sorry about that. There's been a couple of reasons for it. Anyways, not to waste much of your time. I'm coming out first and foremost with a new format, which I'm testing right now. And secondly, to explain to y'all that my betting strategy is all about getting profits. Now, when it comes to profits, I'm not one of those punters that says correct scores, fixed games, giving you 50 odds or 1,000 odds, whereby you stick with $1 to win $1 million and all that bullshit, you understand? I'm all about, you can actually get 10%, 20%, 50%, all the way up to 100% of your capital on a daily basis. So if, for instance, I'm sure of a game per day, and from that game, I'm going to be able to win probably 15% of my capital. I don't mind. Tomorrow, I could find a couple of games and I could get as much as 80%. Another day, I could get just 30% or 25%. You understand? So, I'm really all for making profits daily. I'm all for making steady profits. Cumulatively, you get to, you know, um, make better money at the end of, say, 30 days or whatever number of days you want to go with. But um, so this means that depending on the amount of games that are available on a daily basis, I'm going to be, you know, giving my tips based on what I am most comfortable with. I, for one, have a set of teams that I love to go with, and um, this makes me stick to just a few leagues, and most especially a few teams. So, as you all know, these teams are not going to be playing every single day. So, I might not actually have, you know, tips on a daily basis. Anyways, for today, which is um, the 30th of December, I'm going to be coming out with a couple of games. As you already know, the World Cup is over and um, leagues are, are back. Soon, some will go for winter break. However, my games today are actually from a couple of leagues. And I'll be starting out with... So, first of all, this is my um, Telegram channel, Profits Daily Club. You can join. The link is below this video. So these are the games I have posted on my channel this morning and I would just love to share them in a video as well with my YouTube family. Okay, so we have Liverpool to play Leicester City tonight in the EPL and looking at both teams from, so this is my analysis which you can see on the screen, looking at both teams from I would expect the home team to actually nick this game because they also play at Anfield. And a side bet would be Liverpool to score over 1.5 goals, which you can see on your screen is 1.29 odds. So which means you stand to get as much as 29% of your you know, stake. So, for instance, you stick with $100, you're getting $29 back. Or you stick with 10,000 Naira, you're getting 2,900 Naira back. Now, like I was trying to say, the money might look small for some people, but it's just from one game. game. For example, if you have like two, three games, and at the end of every day, you're getting at about 5,000 Naira or say... $10 every day. So at the end of the month, you're looking at, say, roughly, even though leaving margins for losses. So at the end of the month, you're looking at roughly 100, 
and 20,000 to 150,000 Naira plus or about $300, $250 to about $300 every month if you follow this strategy right. So I don't know about you, but for a side hustle, I think that is not bad. You probably already have a business or your day job and making an extra 100,000 Naira plus or an extra $250 plus from the side, I don't think is too bad. So anyways, follow my channel and you will get, you know, more info on how I go about this. So that's for that Liverpool most likely to win. That's what I have here and probably to score over 1.5 goals. So if I were you, I will just simply say I want to get Liverpool to win with $20 with a return, probable return of $6 plus. And on another ticket, I'll say Liverpool to score over 1.5 goals with whatever stick you're comfortable with. So give or take, one or both of the bets would win for sure. Now, moving on, we've got another game in the EPL this evening as well. West Ham United and Brentford. Now, I said earlier that I have my teams. Now, in EPL, we all know that most of the time they do score goals. But these are not teams that I would readily bet on on a daily basis or at any point in time. However, notwithstanding that, knowing how these two guys played in, the, in their last games, both of them actually scored in their last games. And um, so... Expecting two goals in this game, I don't think it's too much. So I think it's fair enough. Let's, you know, go with a low stake. So for this, I could just probably try out a $10 bet or about, say, 5,000 Naira. So I'm looking at 30% um, return on my stake from this bet, West Ham versus Brentford. Moving on. All right, so this is actually... A parley from club friendly matches that will be taking place today. One is from Croatia and the other is from Netherlands. And this is what I have on the screen. So the Croatia game, I'm giving it over 1.5. And in the Dutch game, I'm giving the home team to score. This actually comes to about 1.258 odds. That's roughly about 25% return on investment. And this is the 1x bet code because it's a Pali. A Pali is an accumulator. So that's um, that's that. You are free to you know try it out. I've already sticked on this myself. Now we have a game in La Liga Spain. Now these two guys are not really doing too well. They are both at the lower end of the table. But knowing these two teams, I think I have a feeling that there will be goals in this match. So I'm actually willing to attempt Asian total over 1.25. And this is giving me 1.24 odds. This actually is 24% return on your stake. All right. So... Um, if there's just a goal in this game, the difference in Asian total is that if there's just a goal in this game, you will lose 50% of your stake. However, if there are two goals in this game, then you win the bet. Alright, so you can decide to skip this and observe and see if actually there will be two goals, if actually this bet would win at the end of the day or not. Or you could decide to give it a trial with a low bet, a low stake, I mean. All right, then, moving on again. We have Real Madrid and Real Valladolid later on tonight as well. And we all know Real Madrid is in top form, at least up to the World Cup. Now, this is their first game after the World Cup, and hopefully the form will be maintained, so we should get at least a couple of goals in this game 
so with that going for an over 2.0 gold total at 1.24 odds is actually safe in my opinion because i expect at least two goals minimum in this game so what you could do as well is you could just simply add the over 1.5 to um, a couple of other games like Liverpool and all of that and you know come up with a short accumulator or pally that could give you something good as well anyways like I said this ought to be safe so feel free to go on a medium stake here from around 10 15 to 20 dollars upwards all right then my next game is from Portugal and that is between Braga and Benfica. It's quite late in my time zone. However, notwithstanding that, knowing how Braga were bashed the, the last time by, um, that should be Sporting Lisbon, which was surprising to me anyway. So I'm expecting Benfica were also in form to you know do almost the same thing and give us a couple of goals i'll be going with both over 1.5 and over 2.0 total goals over 1.5 will give you 1.2 odds or 20 percent of your stake and over 2.0 total goals will give you 1.31 odds or 31 percent of your stake whichever one you decide to go for i bet you you should be coming home and smiling with at least 20 percent return on your investment by the end of this game let's move on right now quickly to another friendly game which i have a max these are czech republican um, teams and the friendly is coming up in a few hours from now and um though it's a friendly and anything can happen these teams can be funny at times they play a lot of fringe players and you really can go all out for friendly games however the home team is a top side in the league and i'm, I'm expecting at least two goals in this game you could decide to go low in this one try try it at five dollars to ten dollars max right so or you could decide to you know just See what happens it doesn't matter you can always recover your money from other beds so go all out a minimum of 20 percent to as high as 30 percent depending on which bet you go for okay another game which i added to my short accumulator the other time is from netherlands groningen against our city the home team is in DVC or let's say League One, you understand, like EPL, while the away team is in Division Two, you understand, DVC Two. So, naturally, I don't expect the home team to lose. So, Handicap Zero says if the match ends in a draw, I will get a refund, but if the home team wins, I, I stand to win as much as 39% on my investment so i don't see the home team losing in this game except you know they don't take it seriously so like i said friendlies can be funny you can go low on this as well and um at the same time in this same game i i have a feeling that there will be a first up goal so that can give you as high as or if you like say as little as 25 percent on your investment okay so this is the same game i've already included in the parlay i'm also on a first half goal in this game which i see as being possible however if you miss this if you miss the what's it called the goal in first half just triple up for second half for a 0.5 goal that means that if you stake ten dollars in this game and there is no goal in first half in second half at least you expect a goal you can go as high as 20 to 30 dollars so that you not only recover the amount you lost in the first half you also stand a chance of at least coming 
out with a little profit i hope you get what i mean so that's why i said triple up if the first half ends goalless so finally i have um the liverpool game which i said i don't see this game not having goals so if you just want to have some free money you can just try out over 2.5 goals because liverpool will actually be playing at home at anfield and you all know that when they play at anfield they are all gone blazing so i'm actually expecting them to at least score two and knowing liverpool's defense they could concede so over 2.5 is not looking bad as well in this game and with that i see them you know i see the game having at least 2.5 goals which can give you as high as 42 percent of your investments right so that's it guys i hope you make some profit from this game because that is what we try to give all our fans and followers and please if you've not subscribed to this channel please do so please share this channel as well with your friends who love to stick on football and i can guarantee you you will be making a minimum of 10 percent 200 percent return on your investment daily as you follow this channel thank you once again and i'll see you soon in another video bye bye